here's where we're gonna start. We're gonna come into a child's pose, right? And we're just going to use, we're gonna, we're gonna get to the end range, passive end range of our um, lats and triceps. And I'm gonna be looking up and talking, but I want you to just kind of put your head down like this and then work your arms forward and your hips back and create a nice long line from your tailbone to your fingertips, okay? So as we get to the end range of this movement, I guess you could say, think about using your breath as a tool to expand into the space even more, right? So we've got our lats are on stretch, obviously. We've got our hips drop nice and low. Our triceps are on stretch. And one thing I like to do is I'll make a fist or make a choppy hand, a karate chop hand, and I'll kind of favor my right shoulder to drop into that lat stretch, tricep stretch a little more on the right side. And then as I rotate over, favor that left shoulder as I drop into the stretch on the left side. And I'll kind of just go back and forth. And we're gonna do some Pales Rails efforts here. So with the Pales Rails efforts, if you have your, go ahead and put your head down if your head's not down. If you can't reach, that's fine. If you have a yoga block or a, a, a blanket or a, I don't know, a prop of some sort, foam roller will work just fine. Um, that's okay to use as well. And if you get to the ground, great. So we're gonna do a Pales effort, progressive effort into the ground. And then we're going to rail it. Uh, we're going to do regressive effort, but we're only going to do one arm at a time. That way we have a little more leverage. So, yeah, yeah. So the first one we're going to be actually, I'm going to use my, we're going to start on the right side. So I'm going to drive my arm down and we're going to increase. This, everything should be on stretch right now. So keep, keep stretching and just kind of listen. Um, so our effort is down, our pails effort is down, our rails effort is lifting, doing our best to lift up. Now it ain't gonna happen too, too much, but uh, that's, that's okay because there's a lot happening inside the joint capsule. All right, and another thing I'll say is as we get to the end of this passive this stretch, try to like open your biceps away from your ears a little bit more, externally rotate the shoulder. Ro think about the bone rotating, that femur, excuse me, the humerus rotating in that socket. And then what we're going to do is we're going to externally rotate more, 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 even more, fight for more range, peeling away from your ears. Now, let's start to work our right shoulder here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to grab the air, pack it down, and radiate. And I'm going to be pushing that right arm down 20% into the ground. I've got a flat palm here, and I'm gripping with my raptor claws into the ground. So we're pushing down 40%. You really feel everything heating up now. Flexing everything, 60%. 80% of your power, whole body's helping here. Safest, greatest effort, 100%. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, now rail it. Try to raise that arm up off the ground as high as you can for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now rest it. Now as you rest that right arm, I want you to pull your, I want you to creep it farther forward to bring, bring it into a deeper stretch. So we've got this new range now. <coughs> And I'm gonna go a little unorthodox here, and I'm gonna say that we do one rep on the right and then one rep on the left, okay? So let's grab the air, pack it down. We're working our left arm now, left side. And let's radiate 20% of your power. 20% driving into the ground, 40%. 60%, whole body's helping here. 80% of your power. Safest, greatest effort, whole body's helping 100%. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Get that tissue work. Squeeze, fight for more. For five, four, three, two, one. Now rail, lift that left arm up as high as you can. Squeeze, lift, lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Set that arm down. 
Now let's crawl both arms forward a little bit more. We've got a little more space in those joints. So you can feel them good. <sighs> Relax into this new space we created. And let's start on rec number two on that right side. Grab your air. <sighs> pack it down. And you radiate 20% of your power into the ground. Right, right arm. 40% of your power into the ground. 60% of your power. Whole body's helping here. 80% of your power. Safest, greatest effort. 100% of your power for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rail it. Lift that arm up. Lift it up. Lift it up as high as you can. Lift it. 8, 7. Higher. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax it. Crawl that right arm forward just a tad. Very nice job. And just breathe for a few. Breathe for a few. Big belly breaths. One more time. And let's load up that left arm. Grab the air, pack it down, irradiate. 20% of your power into the ground. 40% of your power into the ground. 60%. Ramp it up to 80%. Safest, greatest effort. 100% of your power. Everything is on for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Now rail it. Lift that arm up as best you can. Lift it, lift it. Higher, higher, higher. For ten. Higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Nice. There's two reps down. Perfect. Stay now, now. Stay with it. Stay with it. Come on. We got one more, one more rep. One more rep. You gotta stay with this. I know it sucks. It's like, oh, this is this is uncomfortable, but we're, we're doing some nervous system work here. We're drilling deep into those joints. All right, right arm, best set yet. Here we go, best rep yet. Grab your air, pack it down. You radiate 20% of your power into the ground. Work in the right side. Last time we're on these, 40%, 60%, 80%. Safest, greatest effort, 100% of your power for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now rail it. Lift it up. Lift it up as high as you can. For ten, harder. Nine. Squeeze everything. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down gently. Creep that arm forward even farther. Want to work at maximum range. Here comes that. Here comes that left side. Let's take three cleansing breaths. Left side is the best side. I say that because it's not. Grab the air, pack it down. Radiate. 20% of your power into the ground. 40% of your power. 60% of your power. 80% of your power. Into the ground. Safest, greatest effort. 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And set it down gently. Reach a little farther forward and let's just breathe, breathe, breathe. Enjoy that new space. I want you to gently draw your arms to the side in a goalpost fashion. Just let the forearms rest on the ground for two breaths. Then we're going to elevate the elbows, draw the palms back besides the shoulders. Good. And now we're pushing into the ground, but we're not lifting up. We're just turning those tissues on. Like you're doing a push-up, but you're not letting your, yourself come up off the ground. Mm. All right. Good stuff. Now, let's come on down to our 
stomachs. Oh. And let's create, mm, let's upload that new space that we've uh, created to the central nervous system. So uh, what I want you to do is, arm is gonna be straight up and we're gonna go through this kind of a global rotation. I'm gonna put my head here on my fist and we're going to uh, elevate and bring it around and then rotate. And I'm gonna hinge that elbow, try to touch as high above my spine as possible. No creep in the hands and then elevate the hand, extend that elbow, rotate, rotate, rotate. Bring it around as high as possible uh, and then gently set her down. There's one, we've got two more of those, okay? Grab the air, pack it down, elevate up, around, 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 and then start to internally rotate, wind that tissue up as best you can to the best of your abilities, and hinge that elbow, come up as high on your back as you possibly can, and float it, extend, around, and down. Good stuff, one more time. Grab the air, pack it down, irradiate, and Cover it, float it, reaching out to the side, internally rotate, internally rotate, oh, hinge, 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 ah, and float, and then bring it right around and down. Perfect, good stuff. Let's switch to the opposite side. <sighs> yeah, nervous system's on high alert right now, but that's okay, because we're teaching your body that it's okay to move in these ranges. So grab your fist, Land your head, grab the air, pack it down, float that opposite side, reach out as far as you can, full wingspan, internally rotate, internally rotate, more, 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 fight for more. When you're at the end of that range, ah, bend that elbow, ah, and then land that fist for a sec, then launch the fist and extend, rotate around, and land it nice and easy. Grab that air, pack it down, irradiate, up, and around. Internally rotate, internally rotate, internally rotate. Hinge that elbow, keep it high, keep it high, keep it high. Fist lands, fist launches, elbow extends. Rotate, 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 and around, perfect. One more time, grab the air, pack it down. Elevate the fist, the arm. Fly it out, reach, 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 reach. Internally rotate, internally rotate. Hinge the elbows. Bam, and extend it out. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Okay, now let's push ourselves up into a kneeling position. Come all the way to crisscross, applesauce. Uh, what I'd like you to do is we're gonna work on some breath work here. So we're going to turn our bodies, put my, I'm gonna put my right hand here on my hips. My left hand is going to be placed behind me, and I'm torquing up my spine. Torquing, that's torquing. Torquing up the spine, and from here I'm going to, we're going to take 10 big, deep breaths. And I want you to find as much space as possible in your rib cage, in your breathing apparatus, right? So if you have to find space in the back, in the upper back, that's where we're going to find it, right? So here we go, 10 big breaths. We're going to force in, and then... Passive exhale. So nice tall spine. Here we go. Big breath in. Where can we get more? Two more breaths. One more breath. Fantastic. Switch it over to the opposite side. Rotating as far as you can. Wind that body up. Block yourself on your right knee with your left hand. Kickstand on the right hand in the back. Ten big breaths. Here we go. Fight for more air. Fight for more space.
Three to go. Two to go. One more time. Very nice. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, so while we're in this position, we're going to do a side bend and we're going to work our breath again, right? So anytime we're in a kind of a limp, we block ourselves out, blocked at the hips, blocked at the uh, shoulders, um, the lungs become a tool to get a stretch in the trunk in, in, in that position, right? So that's what we're going to do. I want you to take your hand and you're going to just slide out until you're feeling, and you're sliding out from your hips, not from your shoulders here. So right about there for me, I'm feeling a pretty deep stretch right on the top of my back hip. And I'm gonna push this knee down on the opposite side. I might be able to get my elbow down eventually, but for now, all I'm doing is just breathing. I can, I can kickstand my body here and get a nice, I'm pushing, pushing this down to create space here. Now from here, if I want a little bit, I can scan that stretch and maybe find find something that works for me. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna stick right here, but you find what works for you, okay? So from here, I've got a big belly. I'm gonna breathe out and, and, and down, right? So expanding and down, perfect. We got, we got 10, so that's, we'll call that one. What's up, buddy? He's got a little laser tag thing right here. He's playing laser tags with his cousins. Keep breathing nice and deep. Are you gonna put a clamp on that table? Thank you, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Perfect. Okay. I, so your back, your back behind your scapula hurts and it, it's from typing. That does not make any surprise in my head at all be, because your scap, your scaps are trying to hold you up, right? No surprise there. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Same thing on the opposite side, right? And now we're going to Reach out until we find a stretch. Ooh, I got something nasty in my left hip here from just being a human being. Ugh, so I'm gonna stick right here for a sec. And that feels pretty good. So from this position, I'm going to start my breathing. Big breath. Put that air into your belly, into your nooks and crannies. Let's call it four more. Three more. Two more. One more. And excellent, very nice. Come on up from that seated position. Now, if you could roll forward onto all fours, that's awesome, that's amazing. If not, just arrive at all fours. Now, what I'd like to do is we're gonna go into a little bit more of a flow. I'm gonna take my socks off so I've got a little more traction here. And we're gonna start in a high plank. We're starting in tabletop. And actually, let's just set the spine. Let's see how that spine is feeling. After we've done some hip work, we've done some shoulder work, let's give the spine some love. So I'm gonna make a crescent uh, over to the left. I've got a, a mark here on my left shoulder, left hip. I'm gonna try to make as long a line as possible in between those two marks. And back to the right, mm, left, mm, right, mm, back to the left. Big inhale, big exhale, big inhale, big exhale. Switch back to that right side. 
and I'm kind of hanging out on this hip. I'm shooting my butt over to that right side and I get into piriformis a little bit, a little glute minimus. It's that uh, teeny tiny little uh, muscle that keeps the uh, glute from, well, it keeps the hip from rotating if you don't unlock it. Uh, one more and just rock it out. Good. Now let's get into our high plank. And now we're going to go to a downward facing dog. And let's just hang out in here in this position for a second. And we're just gonna kind of see what our body's doing. And... Mm. Okay, if you got if you got some tension that's messing with you, it's barking at you. Mm. Talk to it. Fix it. Mm. I'm just gonna keep on with my dog and you come back whenever you're ready. So I like to pedal my dog. I like to wag my dog. And even when I'm wagging, I'll pedal a bit to see what that feels like in the hips. And if something feels good, by golly, I'm gonna do it. Don't forget the biceps and the ears. Biceps and ears are worst enemies. They don't like each other. Your biceps want to rotate away from your ears. Help them out. Let's shake our head. Yes. Yes, please. Mm, let's not. I'm sorry, not our head. Yes, and shake our head. No. So let's, once you're done there, let's drive our right heel down as best we can. And then we're going to lift our left leg as best we can without opening the hips. And then we're going to tap left foot down and lift again. We've got five of these. Three. And on the fifth one, we're going to shift forward and land our left foot on the inside of our left hand as best we can. Good. And now we're in this runner's lunge, right? So we've got this nice... Kind of, we can scan out. Ah, oh, that feels pretty good, feels delightful. I'm twisting, I'm shifting right to left. I'm twisting, I'm pulling my left hip back and kind of dropping my right hip forward and then coming out of that. And I'm just scanning and finding what feels good. That's what I'm up to right now. Oh, that left hip is like, hey buddy, remember all those miles you ran and you just ignored me and you had weight on your back? Well, guess what, now you need to fix me. You've probably got your stuff too. Okay, from here, we're going to keep our hands planted as best we can, and I want you to shift back to a Samson lunge. What? Oh, and now we're extending our left leg. It wasn't a runner's position, and it was in the front, and now we've slid back, and I guess it's still in the front, isn't it? Mm, big breaths here, and then shift right back to that runner's lunge. Turn a little bit so you can see me better here. So I'm in a runner's lunge, and then I'm shifting my weight back. Hello. Good stuff. And then right back. We're on the left leg. Right back to our runner's lunge. We're going to do 10 of these, right? We'll call those warm-up reps. And let's go. Here we go. Rep number one. Do your best to keep your hands down so we can hinge forward and kind of like bow down before the one you serve. And then back to runner's lunge. All I ask is that you do your best. And back, there's two. Runner's lunge. There's three. Back to our runner's lunge, stretching that front hip, uh, right hip flexor. And then Samson, left hamstring. Runner's lunge. See so if you can get millimeters deeper each time. Samson, runner's. To Samson, I think that's five. Runners to Samson. Ah, runners to Samson. Runners to Samson. There we go. Two more. Runners to Samson. Mm, one more time. Runners to Samson. Now, when we're in Samson on this last one, here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna go right to left, right to left. All right, jump on in. No worries. Left, left bit, little toe goes down to the mat or floor as much as you can. And then right big toe, or 
<laughs> big toe. Big toe, whatever foot you're on, it doesn't matter if it's left or right. Big toe goes down to the floor, then rotate over. Little toe goes down to the floor. Big toe for three. Little toe for three. And I'm, I'm hinging, I'm rotating from my hip. Big toe, little toe, four. Big toe, little toe, five. Big toe, little toe, six. Big toe, wringing out the tissue in that hamstring. Seven, big toe, little toe, eight. Big toe, little toe, nine. Big toe, little toe, and 10. Good stuff, let's come back forward to our runner's lunge. Lift through hips and heart. <clears throat> Up onto our plank and we go downward facing dog again. Now, let's start on that right side. So. Left heel is gonna drive down into the ground. And we're gonna lift our right leg five times. One, under control. Two, three, four, and five. Swing through, land it right next to that right uh, hand if you can. Good stuff, and now we're just hanging out in our hello, in our runner's lunge. Just scan that stretch. Push hips down, shift them to the side, shift them to the opposite side. Maybe you're pulling your right hip back. Maybe you're mm, twisting them forward, but we want to groove on into that best stretch for us. Yeah, buddy. Mm. Okay, let's start our Samson sequence. Samson, Samson. <laughs> My Samson Simpson sequence. <laughs> I want to talk to Samson. All right, let's kick it back. Shift it back into our Samson Simpson. Oh, the first one's so delicious. We're going to get even more delightful as we go. Shift forward. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Shift it back. I wonder if it still holds up. Something tells me probably, probably not. I don't still watch it just for... Just for the effect, just for nostalgia. All right, we're on our third rep. Here we go, shift back. Uh, shift it forward, shift it back. If you have asymmetries, welcome to the human race. Shift it forward, there's four. Shift it back. Shift it forward, there's five. Shift it back. Shift it forward, there's six. Shift it back. Oh, a little deeper there, got a release. Shift it forward, there's seven. Shift it back, don't forget to breathe. Shift it forward, there's eight. Shift it back. Shift it forward, there's nine. Shift it back. Shift it forward, and there's 10. Now we're gonna shift it back, and we've got our rotations here. We're rotating from that hip. We go, big toe goes to the ground. Ugh. Little toe goes to the ground. One, big toe to the ground. Little toe to the ground. Two, big toe to the ground. Little toe to the ground. Three, big toe. Little toe. Big toe. Little toe. Big toe. Little toe. I think that's six. Big toe. Little toe. Seven, big toe. Eight, big toe. Little toe, nine, big toe, and little toe, 10, perfect. Let's come back to our runner's lunge here. Lift through hips and heart. Bam, downward facing dog again. One more time. Uh, walk your dogs. Good, now what I want you to do is we're gonna go into a scorpion on the left leg. So we're gonna kick it up, open the hips, and now drive into the ground with your right arm. We're back on our left leg here. Bend the left knee, and we're gonna get five huge freaking circles with the left knee. I've chosen counterclockwise first because that's what my body wanted to do. But we're gonna do both directions, so just get swifty with it and make it happen both directions at your own pace. There's two, there's three, there's four and your fifth rotation. Come through and swing into a pigeon pose. Hi there, pigeon pose. Hello, hips. And we're just going to stretch 
actively. Don't hang out down here. I want you to drive your body, your hips down and back into, into this hip. And I'm gonna do, I call this a super pigeon. I'm going to, this is my axis of rotation, right? And I'm pivoting out and driving my hip down to get into those little delightful tissues in the side body. And then I'm gonna come back down and I'm gonna pivot up and out. And I'm gonna come back down, always pushing for more range. <clears throat> pivot out, <clears throat> come back down, and pivot out, <clears throat> and come back down. There's five, pivot it out, <clears throat> come back down. When you pivot out, try a glute squeeze on that left <clears throat> hip. <clears throat> and then right back down, there's seven, three more. Pivot up and out, up and forward, <clears throat> there's eight. Pivot up and forward. There's nine, one more time. Pivot up and forward. There's 10, Shaka Khan, very nice. Lift through the hips and the heart. Put that left foot back down, we're facing dog, and start on our right side. We got scorpion, so pin that left heel down. Float that right leg up, open it up, bend the knee. Drive the right left arm into the ground. Here we go, rotations, rotations. I've chosen clockwise with this side. My body just wanted to do that, so here we are. You do whatever you need to do. One, get five each direction. Three, four, five. Now swing through and land in that pigeon. Perfect. Just hang out here for a second. Keep breathing. Go find, scan that stretch, find what works for you. Uh, my hip's a little more stubborn on this side. So in about 10 seconds, we're gonna pin. This is our pivot point, and our hips are gonna go up and out. You can just hold a static pigeon if you want, but that's kind of boring. So if you wanna be boring, be boring, that's awesome. Uh, but it's not as awesome as being dynamic. But you pick your poison. All right, here we go. Grab the breath, and here we go, and exhale up swing into that super pigeon and then bring it right back down bring it right back down and there's three getting some deep stuff going on now driving downward into that hip driving the knee down into the ground there's four there's five there's six there's seven there's eight we got two more there's nine I'm going to do one more because it feels good and amazing very nice good stuff now come back to your downward facing dog oh, feels pretty nice and now we're going to come to a tabletop just all fours, and then we're gonna cross one leg over the other, don't care which one, and push it back to our seated position. And here's how we're gonna, here's how we're gonna wrap up today. We've got two minutes of just intentional breath, okay? Hard part's over. So if you wanna close your eyes, you can. That's fine, you don't have to, but I want you to be completely present with your breath. Don't go back to work yet. Don't go back to the family yet. You got plenty of time for that. Just be here now. You can count your breaths. Focus on being as intentional as possible, okay? No rush with your breath. Here we go. Breathing in, I exhale, and I smile, because I am alive.
you know, try to stay as present as possible. You can get back to work after this one more minute. Thirty seconds. Three more big breaths. Two more. Last one, we're gonna hold. <laughs> all right no dying over here just hold your breath as long as you can that's cool however long you made it 